Hello again! The OpenMW team is proud to announce the release of version 0.19. This release brings some pronounced features to the engine, so let's have a look at a few of them. The backend for sleeping and waiting and the corresponding GUI windows are now implemented. You may now at least get a good night's rest before venturing into the depths of Vardenfell to face the dangers that await you. The systems for travel services and the necessary dialogue windows are now implemented. I'm a Siltstrider man myself, but if boats or Mages Guild teleports are your thing, those are supported too. The base layer of the global map is now functional. The only thing left to do here is implement the overlay that shows you where you've traveled in your current game. Previous releases allowed you to purchase predefined spells from spell vendors. With this release, you are now able to create your own custom spells through any NPC that offers the spellmaking dialogue. Not making any progress training on your own? Not a problem. The skill trainer dialogue is now implemented so you can get some proper training if you can find a qualified instructor, provided you've got the coin. Potion creation has been featured before now, but this release includes a proper implementation of the alchemy skill so those homebrew potions of yours will have the correct properties and effects. There are numerous books scattered throughout the land of Morrowind that, when read, increase your level in a specific skill. This function is now implemented in OpenMW, so don't forget to take a moment, sit down, and read a book every now and then during your adventures. Lastly, we've implemented death in this release. This function gets called quite a lot in a typical playthrough of Morrowind, so this is certainly an important advance. You'll have to wait until we have target cast magic and the ability to physically draw and use a weapon to kill anything or anyone, but at least the NPCs and creatures of Morrowind now actually have the ability to die. Well, perhaps that's a bit of a morbid note to end on, but that's about all we have to show you for now. Work on our engine and editor continues and there are many important features already in progress, so subscribe to this channel and keep an eye out for future updates. For more information, you can visit our official website and forums at openmw.org, and as always, thanks for watching.